Legendary quarterback Bob Greasy joining Bud and the Man Child this morning. All right, one last question for you, Bob. It comes from our producer, Paul. Go ahead, Paul. What do you got for Bob? All right, Bob. He used to make all the calls at the line of scrimmage. Your coach, Don Shula, used to defer to you. Do you think it should stay that way or to today's game where we're seeing quarterbacks look at the sideline with color-coded sheets and all these other things, and and teams seem less reliant on the quarterback position predominantly now today? Yeah, that's a good question, too. You know, um, um, that was one of the things that, that, that I enjoyed doing is, is calling plays at the, in the huddle and then at the line of scrimmage. Uh, a lot of studying by me dur- during the week uh, to, to be able to call that because you are, basically you were an offensive coordinator. But um, Coach Shula, um, uh, he was um, um, a defensive back, but he'd always sit in, when he played. Uh, uh, but he would always sit in our offensive room because he wanted to know what was going on offensively. And um, in that first Super Bowl that we played against Dallas, I came up to the line of scrimmage and uh, I checked off to a slant route, three-step and quick throw. And uh, one of my offensive linemen on the right side missed his block, so I'm three steps and I couldn't throw. So I started scrambling around. I was a scrambler back then, and it ended up being a, a sack, a 20 yards, a 29 yard sack. Ooh. Yeah, I was a scrambler, and I was looking for somebody to throw the ball to, but they were all going downfield, running away from me, and I had three cowboy defensive linemen chasing me. Coach Shula says there was only one, but I say there was three. <laughs> at least. <laughs> so anyway, it's a 29-yard sack. Now, don't laugh at that. That's the only Super Bowl record I still hold. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so anyway, I go to the, I go to the side. I call timeout. I'm out of breath. It's third and 34. I go to the sideline, and coach, I say to Coach Shula, he says, what do you like? And I said, I said, Coach, I said, you always wanted to call a play. How about this one, third and 34? <laughs> 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 and he says, and he says to me, "Oh no!" He says, "You got us into this mess. You get us out of it." <laughs> That's awesome. So I called. I called Pete. The play I called was P10. I gave it to Zonka up the middle. We gained about ten yards, and we went and punted the ball, and that was it. Well, Bob, my my circle of life is now complete because, uh, as I was telling the audience uh, before we brought you on, when I was a little kid in good old Queens, New York, uh, when I was under center making believe I was playing in the NFL and we were playing on the streets of Queens, I was Bob Greasy and I had Mercury Mars, Jim Kick, and Larry Zonka behind me, and I was always playing against my buddies who had Roger Staubach and those cowboy guys. So, uh, uh, well, my question to you is, why weren't you a Jet fan with uh, with Joe Namath there? I know I was actually I've been a lifelong Giant fan. I guess the Giants weren't very interesting. Interesting back then, which is why I deferred to this great uh, team that you had down there, in Miami. Yeah. There was just something pretty cool about you guys back then. Well, as we, you know, you know what? As we went around the country playing in different parts, we would see m- more than a uh, few fans with Dolphin jerseys yeah. on. And I think part of it is that you, when you win, you you get fans, Good and then question. also the young fans. I think they just like our logo, the Dolphin. You yeah. know, a Dolphin is, has a these these kids just like dolphins. Yeah, they just like. So that's, that's why they like it. My son's a Penguin fan, and he likes penguins, so there you there go. There you go. Bob, there thank you, go. you so much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. Take care of hey, yourself. guys, I enjoyed it. Thank you very much. All right, there he is, the legendary quarterback, Bob Greasy, joining Bud and the Manchild this morning. We'll break, and then we'll close this thing out. Stick around.